What's going on everybody? It's your boy Rome. I'm downtown Houston heading over to the studio and I wanted to give you guys kind of an insight for those who may not be from this city. This is one of the largest cities, the most affluent cities in the nation. We just hosted the Super Bowl, not counting a number of other major events that has gone on here in this city over the last year or so. And it is an embarrassment that we still to this day have such a large homeless population. You know, if you look here, there's literally homeless camps right here in the shadow of one of our largest entertainment areas. It's just amazing to me and saddening all at the same time that so many people are out in need and yet no one seems to be coming to do the good work that really needs to be done. Do not misunderstand what I'm saying. I know people are coming out and donating food and they're donating health care and they're donating a number of other things, anything that they can, you know, to help. The biggest part of the problem, I believe, is the lack of uh, housing. You know, and it's a lot of times I drive around the city and I notice that there's so many huge buildings that are vacant. You know, right by my studio, you know, one of the places that I'll go sometimes and, you know, shoot with models or, you know, whatever it is I have going on is not far from where my studio is. And I look at that building and I often think to myself how beneficial it would be if some contractors got together. You know, they get to write the majority of this stuff off on taxes and built out... I don't want to say apartments, but a community where the homeless can get together, they can uh, live there, they can, uh, you know, the city can bring in resources, individuals can bring in resources, however you want to do it. You know, I mean, there's so many, it, I don't even know where to start. I mean, I feel like I'm tongue tied today because it's so overwhelming to me how much can be done, yet how little is actually done you know we see you know people taking these old warehouse buildings now all of the time and turning them into high rises or into condominiums and things like that and there's nothing wrong with that hey man you know that's that's the reality of the world you know you take resources and you you use those resources to build something new you know i look at you know this is my studio building here right ahead of us and <clears throat> i would say probably you know, 90% of the building is um, occupied by artists, you know, photographers, uh, designers, uh, videographers, you name it, it's here. But right down the street from here, I'll show you this area here, they just tore this fence down and they're starting to, I guess, build something here. But there's a couple of buildings back here that I've used a num number of times, you know, for photo shoots and things like that. And you can see them sort of off to the side there. Many of them are back here. And this is just, you know, like not even a percentage of what is actually available in the city that is abandoned. And you think about how many people could be housed in a facility like this. And you look at the population stats and you look at the census and they say, well, you know, the average city only has, you know, five, six, seven thousand homeless people in the city. So it's really, really not that big of a deal. Yes, it's a tremendous deal. You know, I passed this guy on the way up when I was first going over to show you guys some of this area. And this guy is literally carrying everything he owns with him. Now, I don't expect there to be some drastic, you know, polar shift as to individuals getting out or companies coming together because if they were going to do it, they would have done it by now. But that doesn't mean that we can't still uh, encourage them to do what's right. 
and at the same time get out and do everything that we can do you know to make that transition for people who are in need you know a, a better you know situation you know so if it's like what we're doing as a club you know the um backpacks or if it's anything else whatever you can do to help you know every little bit helps you know if it's nothing more than like i said before in a couple of the other videos man you know get out in your truck or your car and you grab you know a couple of cases of water from walmart or or from uh best i mean from any of the best um box stores and you can get out and pass this out to the homeless just drive around you and a friend and you know do whatever good you can do because these people are in great need it's up to us to give back wherever we can i'm not saying to anyone try and make a career of this or you know make this a full-time thing all i'm saying is you know just keep in mind every time you go shopping or you buy something and you see something that maybe someone can uh, can really really use is out here on these streets and if, if it's not expensive and you can afford it man throw it in the basket you know keep it in your vehicle and when you're out and you see someone just pass that love on to them all right guys this is your boy rome i got a client and a meeting today up here at the studio so i'm going to get to that but i believe me and a couple of the guys will be out uh this weekend riding around doing whatever good we can do and as far as an update on the gofundme we have reached a point on the gofundme we have 250 dollars in our gofundme uh, toward our two thousand dollar goal you know which is a blessing i'm going to leave that as it sits for now i'm you know basically funding uh the majority of the backpacks and so are the members of my club so we're going to continue doing that and you know see where that goes once we reach our goal you know the objective is to buy a lot of this stuff in bulk and have it in our storage unit and that way when we get out we can get out in much bigger numbers and do whatever good we can all right guys it's your boy rome peace I'm out.